Matthew. And this is Rich from Rageworks. Welcome back to Out of the Box, Into the Ring, Extreme Edition here on Nerd News Today. We got a brand new Bash of the Brawlers figure up for review, and it is the king of old school, Steve Carino. So back when we did our Just Incredible review, he spent most of that slagging on uh, Young Ozone Park, Just Incredible there. That's right. I think this time around, the table's going to be turned. I'm going to be the one slagging on Carino. On the king of old school? Yeah, we'll talk more about that when I take him out of the box, but I never was really a big fan of Carino. <laughs> Ever. There's a Never. lot of there's a lot of people that share your sentiments, I'm sure. We'll hear about it in the comments. I hope so. So here's our look at the packaging. This is from the Bash of the Brawlers line, which we've been looking at a lot of lately. And uh, yeah, Steve Carino is cool because he's got the double bang feature. Oh, the double bang, folks. I don't know why they gave these these horrible names. They could have just left it as, like, see, I'm trying to remember what they called it a few lines back. Because other figures had similar things. Did they call it the bang? It's been so long since we've done I don't, it. I don't feel that it was. I think it was, like, forearm shot yeah. or clothesline. I don't know what, what they were going for. Maybe they did that to make more extreme. but Extreme banging. Oh, yeah. Exactly. yeah that makes sense now. This is a family show, sir. <laughs> <laughs> a typical back for this Bash of the Brawlers line as the other ECW figures showcasing the full figures on the line, as well as some of the other lines from the original San Francisco Toy Makers. Steve Carino comes with a crutch and what looks like a cast. Yep, he's got a crutch and a cast. Now, I don't think he spent time with a broken leg like... I remember around the time when ECW TV was happening on TNN, like, Rob Van Dam was in a cast. Yes. And had crutches for a while, and that's when he had the vacated TV title. I don't remember if Carino had a broken leg or not at any point. Maybe he did, but I can't I, remember. It wasn't that memorable if it was. Yeah, I mean, he was he was in a stable. It was him. Was it Jack Victory? Jack Victory, Rhino, and I think Tajiri was part of it. Yeah, so out of all of those, maybe Jack Victory? He was in a wheelchair for a while. Right, so With possible? a neck brace, but no, no, I don't think he had a crutch. Maybe, maybe he did, but... There's no Jack Victory toy anyway. You could always just repaint the Sandman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's true, actually. So let's go ahead and get our Steve Carino out of the box, shall we? And into the ring. Bang, bang. All right. Because double bang. There you go. <laughs> and here is our Steve Carino now out of the packaging. It's a king. wonderful likeness of Christian Bale. <laughs> the king of old school embodied uh, quite well, actually. He definitely does look the part. Steve Carino had a very unique face. He did. And and even now that he's older and he's got a little more weight on, like his face still looks very strange. He, he, he looks like one of the weasels from Roger Rabbit. He has like a, <laughs> weasel, a weasel-y face. I'm going to so agree with that. <laughs> I definitely feel like the figure definitely got that weasel-y face vibe that he had. I mean, I, I really think it looks like Christian Bale. I think this is actually a 10 for 10 like this Christian Bale. Look at those lips. That is Christian Bale lips. That's okay. the nose. This looks way more like Christian Bale than does Steve Carino. <laughs> Am I wrong? I mean, uh, oh, man. Let us know in the comments <laughs> if you think he looks like Christian Bale. So I think this version of Steve Carino isn't even like the king of old school Carino. No, I think I think he... this is right before when he was still a comedy wrestler. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I remember his ring gear did change when he became the king of old school. It had, like I said uh, before we started recording, like a CM Punk vibe. Kind of, yeah. And, and he also had a beard at that point, too. He started yeah, getting he, the he beard. Started, yeah, he started getting the soul patch and the beard. Yeah, like once That's the, right. Once the few Dusty Rhodes happened, everything kind of changed. His look changed. I think this is pre-Dusty Rhodes, even though, uh, you know, we'll take a look at the trading cards, I guess, in a second. Here's his mug right here from so, Sea Isle City, New Jersey. So chances are they probably, like, changed the trading card to be up to date because that they could do. They can't, like, up-to-date a figure that quickly. Well, yeah, because he called himself the king of old school. That was part of his catchphrase. The catchphrase on this card is, I've re-injured my appendix. Why? Don't know, but that's what it is. So to your point, it may have been when he was in that comedy run. Yeah, because even look at the photo that's of this card, too. Like, this is not King of Old School Carino. This no, is it's definitely not. Jokey, yeah, but the back of the card does mention that, you know, he teamed up with Tajiri, Jack Victory, and Rhino. Yep. Yeah, this isn't really, like, a serious version of Carino yet. This is still definitely the comedy Carino. You know what it reminds me of also? Bob Holly. Yeah, more like, like Sparky old Bo- Plug. Yeah, yeah. Sparky, Sparky Plug, Bob Holly. Because the stupid yep. thing on the sides here. I mean, yep, yeah. absolutely. So let's talk about those trading cards, too, since we mentioned it, because uh, we haven't looked at, I don't think, any Bash the Brawlers before. So it's our first time looking at trading cards. In yes. Fact. So the trading cards, uh, really cardboard-looking <laughs> trading cards. You know, this was before trading cards had any sort of value. So they essentially just took the cards and put them out there. I just have a few here so you can well, see Well, see, I would debate them. that, because at this point... You know, we're talking now, this is probably 99, 2000. I think 2000 this came out. Right. So at this point, for five or six years, Marvel's been putting trading cards in all their Toy Biz toys. And we're talking right. the good ones. We're talking right, but the these are clear ones. These are essentially... These are cardboard cutouts. Yeah, these are cardboard cutouts that somebody made at, at Kinko's at the time. Like, I'm pretty sure Tommy Dreamer was in uh, Pauly's basement cutting these out with scissors. 
Uh, he probably was. These are he handcuffed probably, by Tommy Dreamer. And he probably hasn't cashed the checks for that either. <laughs> yep, they were definitely not the best quality cards, but I also feel that they changed from stickers to cards. Yes. Which we noticed as we were working on oh, these. I don't quite remember the chronology of which one came first, but they were both right. around the same time period, the right. stickers and the cards. Um, but I, I think I actually prefer the trading cards over the stickers. I think so, because even growing up, one of the things my mother hated as when I was a kid is sticking stickers on anything. Yeah. They wouldn't come off, especially if you got the, and, and we're going to date ourselves, if you went to uh, a supermarket or something and they had the machine where you push the quarter in to get the stickers out, yeah. and those stickers were always just real gaudy looking, and you'd stick them somewhere, they'd never come off, ruin your paint. I still have some on my walls. There you go. I think I have one of Galactus <laughs> from, from, from some Marvel stuff. Huh. So, yeah, but these cards are... You know, Tommy Dreamer cutout specials. Yeah, and they're just basically studio shots of all the wrestlers. So there nothing too fancy. They look nice, though. I mean, you know, I, I don't hate them, actually. I think the pictures they used for them were great, but yeah. I think this is one of those things where it was like filler just for they had to adding, put something, adding, adding to the value. Like we mentioned that they had the, the stickers, but they also had, don't forget, the temporary tattoos. Yep. So they tried a lot of different gimmicks to get people to buy these toys as a bonus, when really, at the end of the day, people bought these toys for the figures, not the yeah. gimmicks. I mean, very few kids, I think are walking around trying to collect a full run of ECW cards. Which, speaking of, they're not even numbered, so no. it's like, what's the point? You don't even know how many are actually in the set until you get enough and you start getting dupes, so whatever. Carino has the double bang Double feature. bang. This Basically, is the double bang, folks. That's it. Which you could probably use to do, like, a pile driver feature, maybe. Like, you can hold them for the pile driver. Um, mm, I mean, I guess. Maybe? Uh, no, not even. So. <laughs> not even. Like, this is a feature that any figures that had that type of uh, posability, it was always very difficult to do anything with them because to your point, trying to have them support the weight or grab the uh, something effectively would just make the feature null and void. Tommy Dreamer. I mean, and, depends um, how you want to hold it. I mean, if you hold them like this with your underhook and arm. Yeah, maybe. And a waist, it's like almost, maybe. but not really. Right. And you know, I'm trying to have, you know, let's show you his articulation otherwise, because he has no waist articulation, by the way. No. He has some leg joints here. That's pretty much it in the arms, which are hindered by the action feature switch. So I don't think, I mean, for sake of argument, yes. You just have him pre-posed. You could pull it off, but right. he's not going to hold the pose he at all. He can do, you could do at least, if you move this hand, he could do a, a decent, like, uppercut at least, like yeah. an uppercut feature, which you could probably do a little something with. Honestly, I'm watching this tour right now, and I'm just like, it's going to break by the time this video is done. Why do you say that? Because the ball, remember, I think it was Balls Mahoney or uh, Axe Rotten and broke like, as soon as we opened it. Yeah. I because, think this is an action feature that's not going to yeah, last see, long Yeah, see, like, either. this is one where, see, like, it's fair. And it's difficult, too, because if you try to move the hands to pose. You can't. Like, there's, no, you can move this, but they don't click, so you already know, like, to your point. It's going to break. It's going to break eventually. And then the other thing is the props, like, even here, him holding this crutch. Holding the crutch, I mean, if you want to have, like, a cool, like, oh, I'm walking on my crutch. But even still, like, yeah, that's could, janked up. Yeah, it's it's very strange. Like I said, the likeness in terms of young Steve Carino, it's okay. Uh, the accessories leave him a little bit to be desired. The leg cast <laughs> doesn't even fit on him. You got to put it sideways. I, that's how I got it to stay. Yep. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah. So you know, make of it what you will. But if you are a Carino fan and you're trying to pick up the original San Francisco toy makers then this figure might be worth adding to the line. I mean, like I said, the action feature is not great, but overall still pretty decent. Well, that's your opinion, Rich, and you're wrong. So let's <laughs> get him in the ring and show you why. <laughs> so here's our guitar hero, Steve Carino, now in the ring. Yep. Let's see what he can do, because I think he's going to be pretty limited. But you know what? To be fair, now it's my time to take a dump on Carino. Yep. Uh, he was pretty limited anyway. <laughs> yes. The king of old school was way more old school than we would have liked and i'm not trashing him because you know he told great stories in the ring yes as a technician or wrestler he was that on his resume right <laughs> but he didn't do much he basically just took a beating bled a lot bled a lot and bled a lot Definitely that's did. kind of some a lot of crimson masks script. yeah at the height of his popularity that kind of does summarize who he was so he, absolutely does need to do much. He's got the, stars, the scar tissue to prove it. Yes, he does. So let's have good old Tommy Dreamer here. Let's see if he can take at least a pile of driver, because I don't really know what else to have Carino do. Can he even do a pile of driver? I mean, as we saw before, kind of, sort of, but not really. Yeah, it's just Yeah, a... it's, you know, it's very limited. Uh, I mean, he can do his bionic elbow, at least. That that he can do. Would you like to do the honors? Sure, why not? Since, you know, after all, it's really that few Dusty that made him. At the very least, he can steal his bionic elbow. That's good. 
Wow. He can't even hit the he elbow. He can't even right. hit the elbow. He just broke his arm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, close enough. Close enough. So, Rich, what's your favorite Steve Crino moment? Uh, anytime him and Jack Victory would get assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. And that reminds me of my favorite Steve Crino moment, and that's when he invaded the Limp Biscuit concert. What? He invaded the Limp Biscuit concert in early 2000 on TNN TV. Because basically, they were in, I think, Milwaukee, and Limp Biscuit was in the building next door doing a concert. And somehow, Paul Heyman must have gotten a deal worked out. He got Carino to show up on stage. He invaded the Limp Biscuit concert. He talked crap to all the fans there, and then he got on stage and cut a promo. You can oh watch it on God. the WWE Network for only nine ninety nine a month. You can see it on the WWE Network where he gets on stage with Fred Durst. That's insane. I didn't even know that. It's amazing because also like whenever Fred Durst takes the mic, they have to bleep out the entire thing. You can't hear anything he's saying. Oh, my God. But really the best moment is when Carino's in there just talking crap about the fans and how awful they are. And he's saying, and let me tell you about those fat asses over there. Let me tell you about that idiot New Jack and that idiot Balls Mahoney. Oh, man. <laughs> and that idiot Axel Rotten. And if they were here today, let me tell you what I would do. And, of course, they pat him on the back, turns around, and all three of the wrestlers are there in the ring with him. <laughs> and then this being 2000, where anything went, what do they do? But they grab him from behind, hold him down. The New Jack stab him with a fork. <laughs> because, you know, New Jack. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. New Jack just kind of eggs him on, and Steve Carino takes two completely unprotected chair shots. Oh, man. From Axel Rotten. And he blades, he, he gets busted open on stage. It's pretty brutal to watch. Jeez. And the crowd goes nuts. There's an ECW chant that whether or not it was real or superimposed in post, I don't know. But there was a the chant. The world may never know. The world may never know. That is probably my favorite Steve Crino moment is him getting the shit beat out of him well, at a Limp Bizkit concert. Well, all right. It is the most 2000 thing you could ever possibly think of. And I learned something new. The more you know. So let's clear the ring of this filth. Uh, <laughs> because, yeah, well, I guess we're going to leave Steve Crino in there. So <laughs> Let's look at Christian Bale playing Steve Carino for this ECW figure line. You know, I like this is fine. It's a, it's a fine figure. It's okay. It's not a favorite of mine. It's mid-level. Maybe a little bit above mid-level in reality. Uh, it's just not a guy I'd really go after. I'm surprised he got a figure, but he was popular. So it makes sense why he would get one. It's just not exactly the Carino I would have wanted. I would have wanted the bearded Steve Carino. Yeah, I definitely. King of I, old school. I feel like they could have made that running change, but they didn't. So at least they got a Carino out the door. They did. Yeah. Credit where credit is due. Steve Carino's ECW career is interesting only because there's been... So many different facets of Steve Carino, from comedy wrestler to king of old school. He's had some legendary feuds. While at times his career may be deemed forgettable, he did have enough of an impact in the in the business, especially in with his feud with Dusty Rhodes that pretty much changed the dynamic of his character. I feel the Dusty Rhodes feud gave him his Stone Cold Steve Austin moment and helped him yeah, transition absolutely. out of that out of that clown shoe character into something substantially better. So I think in that regard, the figure was deserved because of that, but it's not one that was tops on my list if I had to ask for ECW yeah. performer action figures. And he has another one that's a little bit more on the high end of price also. Really? Yeah, he actually is a little bit more on the higher end. Not what? like super expensive, but he's above minimum. So, you know, he's worth hunting if you're going to be a completionist, if you're trying to get everybody. You know, for my money, I left him towards the end of my collection, and I'm fine with that. I've got him. It's complete. I'm happy. Uh, I don't need to have another Carino. <laughs> All right. He got the job done. I mean, I'm slagging off on him a lot here, but he's actually not that terrible. He's just not really one I'm super into. Right. Fair enough. But you guys at home might like him a lot more than we do, and he's a lot of fun to beat up with chairs. That's for sure. <laughs> that is for yeah. sure. So that's our look at Steve Carino from the original San Francisco Toymakers ECW line. So until next time, I'm Matthew. I'm Rich from Rageworks. And we'll see you guys here again on Nerd News Today for more extreme wrestling figure unboxings. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> ECW style. That's it. See you later, bootleg spark plug Holly. You're out of <laughs> here. <laughs>